Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of your positive feedback. If you are interested in receiving additional guidance from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, I do actually draw and upload every single day a daily oracle guidance card to my Instagram and Facebook pages. So if you're interested in receiving additional guidance, please head over and like me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram. If you are interested in receiving um, a private reading from me, I do actually have linked below in the description bar my my website so head over to my website and read about how I offer my private readings uh, and make sure that for these weekly tarot forecasts you are watching your sun sign your moon sign and your rising sign to get the most insight uh, some weeks you will resonate more with your sun sign other weeks you will resonate more with your rising sign or ascendant sign and then sometimes you might even resonate with all three your sun moon and rising sign so again I just want to thank you guys so very much for all of your support you guys are truly amazing thank you for all of the positive feedback your life your shares your comments I do wish you all a wonderful week stay tuned for the reading hi Pisces this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to our weekly tarot forecast for the week of October 31st through November 6th this is for Pisces Sun Pisces Moon and Pisces rising signs Okay, Pisces. So at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Five of Cups. All right, so the Five of Cups, this can be anything from crying over spilled milk to a pessimistic outlook to dealing with some sort of regret, sadness, loss, heartache. Um, it also can represent you having doubts. Um, so. For some Pisceans, you might be having some doubts when it comes to a particular person or, or relationship or situation. Now, the overall energy is the Six of Cups. So we are seeing, wow, quite a progression this week emotionally. So we have the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, and then the Six of Cups, which is the overall energy. So I would say for many of you, this is you actually healing or recovering emotionally. You could be finding something out or maybe something is coming to light. There could be something that inspires you or gives you hope. Something that happens this week that uh, for some of you, it could actually be healing for you. This could be some sort of healing that's taking place. Um, because you do have the star here, which is a healing energy, but then I also have the four of swords. So there's a lot of healing energy that's around you this week, Pisces. So the six of cups as the overall energy, for some Pisceans, this can be you reminiscing a lot. You could be thinking about the past. For some of you, there could be children uh, that are very significant this week. And then for some other Pisceans, there could be something coming up this, this week that needs closure, something that involves the past. So there could be a past situation or relationship. There could be something from the past that is relevant this week that maybe for some Pisceans, you're receiving closure when it comes to this. You do have a lot of healing energy around you. We are starting out with the star, which is a healing energy. And for those of you who were maybe feeling like this, having a lot of doubts, or maybe even experiencing some loss, some sadness, or even regret, you are healing. We do have this amazing energy around you. So the star is that divine energy. So this is your angels, your guides around you, bringing in that healing energy, but also divinely guiding you towards maybe some great change because we do have death sitting right next to the star and as a matter of fact Pisces you have you know a lot of major arcana energy here so there's definitely a lot of growth 
happening for you and there's a lot of change that's going on within your life right now now with the star this is also an optimistic energy so for those of you who are maybe losing faith with something or someone you need to remain positive you need to yeah, keep the faith. Um, when it comes to this great change, death represents great change. So for some of you, you want this great change. There's something that maybe you're waiting on. You're waiting on this great transformation. Now, death can represent something ending and then something else beginning. Something ending maybe perhaps the way it once was. It is no more. And now it's transforming to something better. So for some of you... You know, you're you're wanting this great change. Um, we could have this Five of Cups energy that was around you because maybe some of you were maybe a little pessimistic or fearing as though this, this change, this transformation wasn't going to happen. Um, but, you know, you have a lot of divine energy around you. And I think you need to keep the faith. You need to remain positive when it comes to this. Now, what I am sensing is that for some of you, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or even an, an Aquarius person um, because death represents the sign of a Scorpio and then the star is Aquarius so for some of you you could be dealing with one of these one of these uh, signs because we do have the two of cups underneath death so for some of you maybe you're waiting on a great change when it comes to your relationship with another person uh, the two of cups is reciprocated love it can represent soulmates especially when I have um, the two of cups in the same spread as the six of cups this can be a soulmate relationship um, but maybe you guys are separated maybe there's some sort of change that you're waiting on maybe you're waiting on an offer from this person because I do have the four of cups here which can indicate that you're maybe feeling lonely you're feeling sad, down and out. With the Four of Cups here, you could be waiting on an offer from this person. But because we have the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, um, I think that there's something that's happening for, for many of you that is giving you hope or inspiring, inspiring you, that is making you maybe heal emotionally with this energy here Pisces now for some of you you could be separated from this person and again you're waiting on that great change now for some of you you could be dealing with a person who's involved with someone else maybe they're getting a divorce um, you Pisces could be getting a divorce it could be a situation like that and then maybe some other partnered Pisceans, this could be you certainly maybe waiting to take your relationship to the next level. Waiting for that great transformation within the partnership or, you know, for some of you, maybe you're waiting on that divorce to be final because I have justice here, which can represent a divorce. So for some of you, maybe you're ending a relationship to be with someone else. Maybe you cannot be with that other person because you're still married or maybe they're still married. This could have been like a secret relationship because I have the high priestess here. Injustice can represent a contract, a decision. This can represent a karmic justice as well, a fairness coming in. For those Pisceans that were maybe dealing with a partner who maybe cheated on you, I do see a lot of healing energy coming in for you this week. I see you overcoming that or at least starting to heal, starting to overcome that. I see many of you highly, highly intuitive this week very very intuitive this week for some of you you could be playing your cards close to your chest not revealing so much you could be making some changes within your life making some changes for you and your children i do see a lot of healing energy here for some piscians you could be spending some time alone maybe even going within meditating really uh, listening to your intuition 
And then I have the Wheel of Fortune here. So we have Justice sitting here with the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a lot of karmic energy around you right now. For some of you, could be, you know, going through some karmic lessons. But with the, with the wheel here and death, this is some very powerful energy. I think that for many of you, you're going through a lot of change. There's a lot of growth and a lot of change that's taking place here. But for many of you, it's, it's definitely divinely orchestrated. You are being divinely guided through this, um, through this change. And there is a lot of healing coming in for you. Now, if you felt as though something was done to you unfairly, whether it be by a, a romantic partner or even a business partner, there justice will be served. Justice is coming in. And I do feel like for many of you, this wheel is starting to turn. I think that this is a process. I think that, uh, yeah, for many of you, this is a process. And I see for many of you, you starting to heal this week. Uh, for many of you, your emotions are definitely starting to heal. There could be something great that's happening this week, something wonderful that's happening. Again, it could be someone popping back up. There could be a person that is coming back around. For some of you, maybe it's someone you've been waiting on. And then for some other Pisceans, you really need to listen to your intuition and maybe you need to move forward. Maybe you need to make a decision. Maybe you need to make a decision to be alone. For some, for some Pisceans. And then for those partner Pisceans, you know, you might want to get married. There's some sort of great change that you want to take place. Maybe, you know, you're separated from your spouse or maybe you want to take your relationship to the next level. I think that you need to be patient and for some of you, maybe you, you really need to communicate with your partner. I want to pull the next card. I want to see what's coming. Oh, look at that. So I felt inspired, Pisces, to pull you the next card. And look at this. We have the Ace of Cups here. So we have Justice, the Wheel of Fortune, and then the Ace of Cups. Look at that. And the Wheel of Fortune is cycles. This is a, or a cycle that is completing. It represents destiny, karma. So for some of you, you know, I'm sensing a relationship for some of you coming to an end. But then we have new love coming in. And for some of you, this is definitely a soulmate relationship. This is something that's, that's meant to happen. With the Two of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune... Um, yeah, this is this is a soulmate relationship for many of you. But this is beautiful. This is a beautiful new beginning that's fulfilling on an emotional level that's coming to you. For some of you, you need to maybe spend some time alone and really maybe contemplate this new beginning. If you are a Pisces that is ending a marriage, you're healing. You need to keep the faith. You need to remain positive. Because new love is coming in. Now, this is obviously a very emotional spread. There's a lot of, um, you know, water energy here. But for some of you, because it's a general reading, um, and I'm reading for so many people, for some of you, this very well could be dealing with a contract. This could be a new house. This could be you and your spouse moving in together. Or this could be a new job for some of you. But this wheel is turning, so this is a very blessed, fortunate energy that you have coming in. But this isn't something that's only taking place this week. This is this is energy that's with you. I feel like you're going through a lot of growth on, and a lot of change right now. There's a lot of growth that's taking place. Let me pull you an additional guidance card for this week for Pisces. But this is a very blessed, fortunate energy that's coming in. And then for some Pisceans, some of you, if you're in a committed partnership, 
this Ace of Cups can definitely be for some of you. Maybe you are conceiving. So if you've been trying to conceive, definitely get it, give it a go this week. And then some Pisceans, you know, you could be reconnecting with someone from your past. If you're single and you want to meet someone, definitely get out and mingle. I see the potential for you meeting an Aquarius, a Scorpio, another water sign like yourself, maybe even a Libra. But you definitely have a lot of um, opportunities or just some really amazing energy around you this week, Pisces. A lot of healing energy, but also a lot of very blessed, fortunate energy that's with you. This is a great spread. All right, additional guidance for Pisces for this upcoming week. What does Pisces need to know? Wow, look at this, Francesca. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So here you go, Pisces. You really need to keep the faith. You need to remain positive. You have a lot of amazing energies coming in for you. A lot of growth and a lot of healing. A lot of change coming in. But this is, you know, all for the better, Pisces. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will only block your progress. Okay, Pisces. So I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I hope you have an amazing week.